Hello Sycamore, happy Thursday and happy February 9th, 2023. Now we welcome you to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Savannah. And hello, I'm Court. We're so excited to have this great opportunity to join you guys on the daily video announcements. Now please stand, place your hand over your heart, and let's honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Everyone, everyone, everyone. That's everyone. Check your emails throughout the day. Be informed on important information, especially now with so much going on. Yes, be PBIS responsible, be safe, be respectful, and be a positive problem solver. Now a special reminder from our counselor, Mr. Brenner. Hello 8th grade students, Mr. Brenner here. I have a quick reminder message for you regarding scheduling. So again, this is 8th graders only. Uh, there is a school links activity that we really need you guys to complete. Um, it is provided by the high school and it really does a good job of just outlining everything you need to know about the scheduling process. For example, you're going to do some online scheduling here in a couple of weeks. Then you're going to wind up meeting with your high school counselor and it just talks you through all of that to help you feel ready as you plan for your ninth grade year. As of this morning, there's about 250 of you, it says, still need to do it. So eighth graders, please hop on that and make sure you do do that. I think you'll find it very helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of your us counselors just to help you get it squared away or access it. Two quick things, though. It does require headphones or earbuds. Most of you have those. So if you do it at school, just pop those in during flex time and you can finish it in 15 minutes or less. Uh, if you want to do it at home, then it's nice and easy. You can take the time you need and have it as loud as you want. Um, so if you need any help with that, just let me know, and good luck doing it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mr. Brunner. Now our Black History Month recognition. Claudette Colvin. Claudette Colvin was born September 5th, 1939 in Montgomery, Alabama, and is still alive. Age 83, in her younger years, she was a, she was a civil rights activist with two children and unmarried. Claudette Colvin was 15 and pregnant when she refused to give up her seat nine months before Rosa Parks. Claudette Colvin was jailed, charged for disturbing the peace and segregation, was later found guilty for assaulting police officers. Thanks, Claudette Colvin, for those wonderful contributions. Wow, thanks. Now back to our counselors for, special, for a special message. Hi, everybody. We just wanted to hop on the announcements and remind you all of your school counselors. I am Mr. Brenner. I do last names A through G. And I am Mrs. Suter. I have H through N students. And I am Mrs. Morris, and I have O through Z students, as well as all the ESL students. And we want to thank you guys so much for all of the support and thanks you've been giving to us during School Counselor Week. And to let you know that you will see us a little bit more over the um, announcements over the next couple weeks because we do have scheduling coming up. So you will see our faces a little bit more often. But you are welcome to come see us, send us an email if there's anything we can help you support, whether it's academic, personal, social, um, anything scheduling-wise, career-wise, anything like that. So thank you guys. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye. Stay there. Stay there. Keep recording. While you're here, we would just like to thank you so much for all you've done for us. And we would also like to ask, what's your favorite thing about Sigma Junior High? Well, my favorite thing about being here are all the friendly faces that I get to see every day. And this is such an impressionable age that being able to help students as they kind of shape who they're going to be as young adults is really amazing to me. And I love all the students and the staff here. I think we have a really great community, and I love being a part of it. Yeah, the students and the staff here are phenomenal. That's my favorite part. I also like to do other things with them. Some of you guys know I do tech club as well as help coach soccer, too. I just love to be yeah. with you guys every chance we get. So thank you, guys. Let's give Thanks. Thank you, awesome counselors. Next, Next up, up, did, did you, you know? know? Did you know the longest place name in the world is 85 letters long? Nearly impossible to pronounce. Okay, wait. Let's put this on the screen. This is a really long one. Anyway, it is a it is a city in New Zealand, and the name itself is 85 letters long. Good luck trying to repeat this. Next up, National, National day. day. Today is National Pizza Day. National, National Pizza Day on February 9th celebrates one of America's all-time favorite foods. Whether it is thin crust, Chicago-style deep dish, or anything in between, pizza is an American favorite. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Caleb F., Mason A., Parker A., Shapanji S., Adriana B., Aretha B., 
celebrating today. Have a wonderful day. Yes, happy birthday to all celebrating today and over the weekend. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, today, uh, 2 9, okay, February 9th, running club will be canceled due to high winds. Reminder, you will meet on Monday. So no running club today, but you will meet on Monday. Email Mrs. Jarvis at jarviskaysycamoreschools.org if you're interested in working in our high school teams for the remainder of this season. Our next meeting is Monday, uh, February 13th from 3 to 5 p.m. Are you interested in computer science? Would you like to learn more about coding? If so, please join the Junior High Tech Club on Thursday, February 9th, that's today, from after school from 3.15 to 4.30 in the Media Center. Students from the Sycamore High School Computer Science Program will be here to talk about computer science and lead the group in coding activities. Students must provide their own ride home at 4.30. For more information, please contact Mr. Brenner or Mr. Grudermuth. International Club, you're going to meet tomorrow, that's Friday. This week's focus countries are West Africa. So International Club meeting tomorrow, that's on Friday. Any boys interested in playing boys lacrosse this spring here at the junior high, there will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, February 14th during flex in the old gym. If you have any questions, please see or email Mr. DeJoy. We the people, you have a location change for next week. You will meet in Mr. Hammer's room, that is room 200 at 7 to 8 a.m. on Thursday instead of the media center. Please bring your books, graphic organizers, and supplies for unit work. Check Canvas for latest updates and get your graphic organizers. For each lesson within your units, print off an organizer. That's we the people. Partners Club. Partners Club. The next meeting is Wednesday, February 15th, immediately after school in the Media Center. We're going to do some fun games, art projects, and as always, enjoy a delicious snack. New members are always welcome, and we hope to see you there. Hey, if you're a current 7th grader who interested in, might be interested in joining choir next year, the choirs are always looking for new members to join. If you're a current 7th grader who's currently not in choir this year and would like to sign up for choir, to sign up for choir in the 8th grade, please see Mrs. Ca Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Stein in room 105. Remember, no singing experience necessary. Feel free to email either Callahan or Stein if you have any questions. Hey, don't forget, 7th grade gold boys basketball team will meet after school today. That's February 9th at 3.15 in the new gym. You're going to turn in your uniforms. You also have your award ceremony at this time. Snacks will be provided, and Coach Brown will be in the house. For girls interested in softball this year, there will be a preseason meeting Monday, February 13th in the new gym during Flex Bell. You'll be given a handout giving you information about what you need and what the expectations will be. You do not have to be an experienced player to participate. If you got any questions, see the aforementioned Coach Brown. Hey, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now over to Sam and Vector with clarification on which doors we entered to get into the office. This 
is door number one. This is Miss Proctor. Hi, everyone. Um, if you come into my office, it's usually for attendance purposes. If you have a medical note, early dismissal, or late arrival. Thank you. Yippee! Now it's time for joke of the day. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? I don't know. What? Where's popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Stay extraordinary, sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful day and go A's!